Hey guys, okay so to start this look I am going to prime my skin. I am using Lumi Magique from L'Oreal. Using a primer for bridal makeup is an absolute necessity. Regardless if you usually wear a primer or not, you will need it for your wedding day because you want your makeup to last all day long and all night long. This primer is really nice. It's lightweight in texture so you can't feel it sitting on your skin. It has a really natural glow. It makes your face look radiant when the light hits it. It also slightly evens out your skin tone too, which is a bonus. And I like to apply this using a Real Techniques buffing brush. I rather use a brush than my fingers because I feel it works it into the skin that bit better. I'm well ensure it lasts all day and all night long under my makeup. Once that is done, I am coming in with foundation. I'm using Rimmel Lasting Finish and I'm going to mix that with Beauty Flash Balm from Clarins. So this is the most important step. Bridal makeup is not your typical everyday makeup. It is makeup for photography. So for that reason, I don't use any products with SPF in them and that includes skincare before I even start the makeup as well. Um, the reason for this is SPF contains titanium and titanium reacts to the flash of a camera and that's what leaves you with the white face in photos. So just to be on the safe side, I never use any SPF for a wedding day. And I'm mixing Beauty Flash Balm with this because I find it one of the best primaries. It photographs really, really nice. It sets on the skin and does not budge for the night. So I mix my foundation with it so the foundation sets onto the skin along with the Beauty Flash Balm. And for that reason, you need to work relatively quickly with the product because you want to get it buffed in before the product actually sets. Otherwise, Beauty Flash Balm tends to kind of roll on the skin. I find that Beauty Flash Balm also adds coverage to the foundation, but it doesn't look cakey on the skin. You want your skin to look as natural as possible on your wedding day, but coverage is really important as well because you want your skin to look really, really flawless. So I definitely think Beauty Flash Balm makes you achieve that quite easily. And I'm using a flat foundation brush and a Real Techniques buffing brush to apply this to the skin. Don't forget your neck or your ears so everything is blended smoothly and there's no harsh lines. Now that I'm happy with my foundation, I'm moving on to concealer. This is MAC Pro Longwear Concealer. I'm using the shade NC20 which is a couple of shades lighter than my skin tone and I am going to use that to highlight areas of my face. It's also going to conceal any areas that tend to get red, like around my nose and on my chin. And I'm going to put a little bit in on the centre of my forehead as well. This concealer does not crease, but it sets like cement and still looks natural on the skin, so it's perfect for a bridal look. I'm just using a fluffy eyeshadow brush to blend that in. And once I'm happy with how much I've blended it, I'm coming back in with my buffing brush just to press over it to ensure it all blends into my foundation nicely as well. I'm going to leave my skin for now and come back to it later when I've finished my eyes. I'm just combing through my eyebrows now to make sure that there's no foundation or any product stuck through them. And then I'm taking my HD brow pencil. I'm starting by tracing underneath my eyebrows. So I'm following the natural shape, but I'm paying most of my attention to the ends of my eyebrows where the hair is much more finer and sparse. And I'm combing through my eyebrows as I go along as well. So this just makes sure that there's no harsh lines from the pencil because Using a pencil can make your eyebrows look drawn on, but if you comb through as you go along, it looks much softer. Now I have the rough shape, I'm taking my HD palette and I'm using the colour Dark Brown. Taking a MAC 266 angle brush, I'm just feathering through some of the product on my eyebrows. I have the same technique, do my brows all the time, so it's the same as my other videos. But um, I just use really light strokes and I build the product up bit by bit. Once I'm happy with the shape I'm taking my Maybelline Brow Drama and this is in medium brown so there's a slight tint to it 
and I'm just brushing that through my eyebrows. So this is going to grab any fair hairs and kind of tint them as well and make them look natural. As you can see, eyebrows make such a difference to a look. They really frame your face. Okay, so moving on to my eyes, I am using Rimmel Match Perfection Concealer and this is in 10 Ivory. I'm using this as an eye primer. Again, primer for the eyes for a wedding day is absolutely vital. I don't usually use a primer on myself, but I definitely would for a bridal look. I'm doing a very neutral look on the eye, but a primer is really going to enhance what I put on and make it last. Once that is done, I am taking MAC Vanilla Pigment and I'm just going to pop a really, really small amount of this underneath my brow bone as a highlight. I'm using a really small amount of this product because it is very shimmery, but it will catch the light in a really nice way. And I'm also going to pop a little bit of that in the tear duct of my eye. Next, I'm going to take the colour Naked from the Naked One palette. And on a MAC 217, I'm just going to bring that through my crease. And I'm also going to bring the same colour across my eyelid as well. And then I'm going to go over my whole eye with a big fluffy blending brush. And sticking with the same colour naked, I'm taking a smaller crease brush and just running that really softly underneath my eye. And this will just give a really soft, smoky effect. Now I'm going to take Woodwinked from MAC and using the same 2 and 7 blending brush, I'm just popping this all over my eyelid but I'm also going to work it into the crease. And this is a really, really nice golden brown shimmery colour, but when you work this colour into the crease, it actually darkens and changes colour slightly. So it's going to add a little bit more definition to the contour of the eye as well. Once that is done, I'm going to take the colour book from the Naked palette, and on a clean MAC 217, I'm just going to put that through my crease. So this is just going to add a bit more depth to the eye and darken it slightly but it still has a really natural effect. And I'm just going to keep on building that up really slowly until I'm happy with the shape and the colour of the eye. Next I'm going to take a matte black eyeshadow. This is Carbon from MAC. And my 266 angled brush, I'm just lining my top lash line. It is so much easier to line your lash line with an eyeshadow. So if you are afraid of using a liquid liner or a gel liner, just use an eyeshadow and a very thin brush. And you're less likely to make a mistake. I'm going to do the same on the other eye and I'm also slightly winging it out and this is going to act like a guide when I do go in with my liquid liner. It's just going to be more precise but also having the eyeshadow makes it look a little softer. And then with whatever is left on the brush I am going to line my lower lash line. So this will make my lashes look a bit more fuller before the mascara goes on. Once I'm happy with the shape I've created, I'm taking my Maybelline gel liner and this is in intense black. And I'm using a fine liner brush to apply this. I'm staying really, really close to my lash line and just drawing in a very fine line. And I'm also just going to draw in the flick as well that I've created with the eyeshadow. So using a liner over the eyeshadow is just going to make sure that it lasts all day. Okay, I'm going to come back to my eyes last and do my mascara. Now I'm going to take MAC Studio Fix. And this is NC20, which is really light as well. And I am just going to apply this powder anywhere I put the concealer earlier on. So under my eyes... A little bit on my chin, a tiny bit down my nose and a little bit in the centre of my forehead. Next I'm going to take my Elizabeth Arden powder. This is in 04 Deep 
And on a Real Techniques brush, I am just going to apply this to the outer areas of my face. Once that is done, I'm going to take my sleek face contour kit, using the darker colour, and a smaller blusher brush, and I'm going to contour my cheeks. So I am going from the top of my ear, where my hair would go behind my ear, to the corner of my mouth, and just gently buffing in the product until I'm happy with the shadow it's created. And I'm going to do the same on the other side as well. And just keep building it until you're happy. And then taking Rose Blusher from Dior, I'm just going to apply this to the apples of my cheeks. This is a really nice natural pinky shade. And for a highlight, I am using MAC Mineralize Skin Finish in Soft and Gentle. And I am just going to apply this to the tops of my cheeks using a Real Techniques contour brush. This is a really, really nice nude kind of natural highlight. It catches the light really nice. I'm also going to apply a little bit of that to my cupid's bow as well. Now that my skin is done, I am taking my mascara. This is Maybelline The Falsies. And I am going to apply a couple of coats to my top and bottom lashes. Once that is done, I am taking my Rimmel White Eyeliner. This is in 071 and I'm just going to line my bottom waterline. This is going to give the illusion that my eyes are much bigger and just make them look brighter and more awake throughout the day. Next, I'm going to take my individual lashes. These are just from Salon Services and my Duo eyelash glue. And I'm going to pop around six individual lashes on each eye using a tweezers. Once I finish doing that, I'm just going to put an extra coat of mascara on to make sure that they all blend in with my natural lashes as well. Now that my eyelashes are done, I'm going to go onto my lips. This is Clarins Lipstick, it's 21 Pink Orchid, and a Clarins Lip Gloss, which is a Colour Quench Lip Gloss in 03. And I'm just going to pop the lipstick on first and a little bit of the lip gloss over that. I've opted for a deeper pink so it doesn't look washed out in photos. And last but not least, I'm taking MAC Fix Plus Spray and I'm just spraying that all over my face to set all my makeup in place. So this is my finished look, guys. A natural bridal look that will last all day and night and also photograph beautifully. I really hope you enjoyed this tutorial. Please give it a thumbs up if you liked it and subscribe to my channel if you want to see more. See you soon. Just one more thing before you go guys, straight after filming this tutorial I took a picture off my phone. The reason I used my phone instead of my professional camera is because a flash off a phone is much harsher and much more unflattering. But as you can see the makeup still looks perfect. I hope you found this helpful guys. Thank you.